Today we are looking at 5 calisthenics movements and their corresponding weighted variations to see which one is better for targeting the muscle and overall muscle growth. Whenever one exercise outperforms the other, it gets 1 point. Whoever has more points at the end wins. Let's get right into it. This is not even a close call. One exercise imitates the other exercise. Pull-ups are so much better in overall back development, it wouldn't even be fair to compare these two. What do you think is more difficult? Pulling your own body weight up or pulling some weight down while in a seated position? Pull-ups are probably the greatest exercise in existence. Calisthenics athletes always have insane back development in every area of the back. Performing pull-ups correctly will target your entire back, including your lats, rear delts, lower lats, and even your biceps, forearms, and grip strength. Performing lat pulldowns just isolates the lats. The reason why most people take lat pulldowns over pull-ups when they work out is because pull-ups are far more difficult but also far more rewarding. So here the clear winner is pull-ups. Look, I'm personally a big fan of both of these and use them constantly in my routine for multiple years. Regular push-ups are great for building a great base for strength and size in one's chest. The problem, however, is utilizing progressive overload. In order for a muscle to grow, we must progressively overload it, meaning using more weight over a specific time frame. Because of the nature of push-ups, this is very difficult. Simply doing more push-ups of the same variation is not as effective in growing your chest. Bench press, on the other hand, is a whole nother ball game. Because you can just add more weight to the bar, it is very easy to do progressive overload, get stronger and therefore build a bigger chest. So if I had to choose between push-ups or bench press for overall muscle growth, I would go with bench press. This is a tough one, but if we are talking about which exercise is better at developing a nice bag, we just have to go with the barbell row. The barbell row might be the best weighted exercise for developing a nice bag. I've been using this exercise since the day I started working out and I include it in every session ever. Barbell rows give you an insane pump in your bag. Every bodybuilder ever, if it's Arnold, Dorian Yates or Chris Bumstead, uses this exercise because they know the power of barbell rows. Don't get me wrong, bodyweight rows are also great. But the problem again is that they are fairly easy and if we are talking about this variation, it is difficult to do progressive overload. Therefore, weights win on this one. Okay, I know doing handstand push-ups is fairly difficult, but let's assume that you can do them. Are they better than overhead press in developing your shoulders? In my opinion, yes they are. The fact that you have to carry your own body weight on your shoulders and then have enough control, balance and strength to go down and up again makes this exercise exponentially more difficult than overhead press, which therefore does a better job at developing your shoulders. But don't get it twisted. Overhead press is super underrated and one of the best weighted exercises in developing your shoulders. Getting strong and overhead press makes your hands and push-ups stronger and vice versa, which is why I use both in my routine. If I had to choose between these two, however, I would go with hands and push-ups. So again, both of these are great exercises with their own benefits, but which one is better in developing your lower chest? Cable rows are an amazing way to isolate your lower chest, while dips are also a great way to train your lower chest, but does not necessarily isolate it. Dips also train your triceps, front delts, forearms and shoulders. In addition, it has carryover strength to other exercises like your overhead press and handstand push-up as it trains the same muscle groups. But which one is better at growing your lower chest? If done correctly, I think dips are better. This might just be preference as I know many people that have developed an amazing lower chest by never doing dips and only using cable rows. But if you would ask me, a hybrid athlete who does calisthenics and weights, which one is better, I would have to go with the dips. At the end, I have calisthenics as the winner with 3 to 2 and that's just my personal opinion. What do you think? Which one would you choose as the winner? Let me know in the comments below.